All right, you guys, this is the Rock Fire Restoration Part 20, and a lot of progress has happened since the last video. Once I had the upper lighting done, I started experimenting with the character layouts. I put all the characters on the stage and then used that to determine where exactly the trap doors would need to go for the valve banks so they would be easily accessible in case I needed to adjust movement at some point or fix an air leak. So what I'm doing right here is just figuring out exactly where Mitzi's trap door is going to go. Now I'm taking Mitzi off the stage so I can cut it out. Next is Beach Bear's trapdoor. So I just finished cutting out the holes for Beach Bear and Mitzi's valve banks, and uh, I didn't film that because my uncle was showing me how to uh, use that saw to cut directly into the plywood. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting in these two by fours right here, and uh, there will be another one that goes right here, and uh, that will help to support the trap door so that it doesn't just you know slip and fall onto the ground. So now I'm putting all the characters and the props on the stage, and, and this isn't permanent. This is just to test the positioning measurements I have and make sure they're correct. This is the nice brand new trim just installed on the stage. All right, so I finished cutting out Mitzi's trapdoor, Beach Bears, and Fats's, and now I'm going to put a trapdoor, a pretty large trapdoor, right here in the front, and that is where the uh, these regulators and the actual hookups for the character valve banks will go. And then I have one in the back that would be for the props valve bank. All right, so one of the next steps in the restoration is putting the props on the stage. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and replace the seals and the cable on the Tallamatic cylinders for both the moon and the sun, and actually also Antiox mechanism. I do have a more in-depth video on rebuilding Tallamatic cylinders, but I did include some footage here just to show you guys how I do it. Here I am taking the pulley blocks off on both sides. All right, so now I'm taking apart the center plunger in the Tallmatic cylinder, and the reason I'm doing that is the goal is to get the, or take the original cables that run through the cylinder off. You need to get those out so that you can replace them and uh, replace the O-ring that actually goes bad in a Tallmatic cylinder 
is the o-ring that seals around the cable usually the cable is fine the cable itself but the o-ring that seals that cable is what goes bad and so in order to replace that o-ring we have to take off both of the cables and replace them with the new cables that come with the rebuild kit so i'm just taking apart both sides of this plunger that's in the center. I'm saving those two plastic pieces. I'm gonna replace the two U-cup O-rings in the center, and then I'm going to put new cables in to that Tallmatic cylinder. All right, so now that all three of those Tallmatic cylinders are done, two for the sun and the moon, and then uh, one for Antioch, I'm gonna go ahead and put Antioch's mechanism up in the ceiling. All right, so Kanan is helping me. We're wiring Billy Bob's stage, the top lights, top colored lights, and uh, so that's, Kanan is just wiring them all together, all the different colors, he's wiring those together. And then there's one wire that will go down for each color type. What's the most painful electricity shock that you've had? Oh, um, the Emo controller. What happened there? I touched something inside of it. It was like a transformer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it made the breakers in my house trip. Oh, that's awesome. Now it's time to paint the clouds on Billy Bob's stage. All right, so right now we are wiring the center stage top lights, and this time instead of using wire nuts that we used last time, we're using Wego lever nuts, which are far easier to connect. It basically just has a this little orange lever that you push up and then you shove the wire in there and then push it down, and it locks the wire in there. So makes it a lot easier and faster to wire. Now I'm painting the grass, branches, and leaves on Billy Bob's stage.
Since I verified all the measurements, I can now permanently put Billy Bob, Looney Bird, and his props on the stage.